Hi there, I'm Terry, and you're watching Penn Central 99. Uh, this is my River Mountain Model Railroad, and today we're doing a special edition, or some of you might even call it a mail call. So let's go ahead and get started. You know, some days things just go your way, and they're really that special that you need to share it with others. So I'm going to go ahead and share something with you that I just... You know, you might be watching this for the first time, but I've actually tried to start this video four or five times because I'm so amazed and impressed, I just don't know what to say, so I'm just going to try and say it. <clears throat> About a week or so ago, I got a message from one of my internet friends, uh, fellow model railroaders or YouTubers, and I'm going to go ahead and read you this message. <clears throat> it says, Hey Terry, I'm going to be working on some weathering how-to vids and I had an idea after seeing your new model railroad emblem. I have an undecorated car that I want to paint and weather as the Penn Central 99 boxcar. After I finish the car in the vid, I'd ship it to you. I just want to check with you first and make sure that you are okay with that. I would never want to use somebody else's emblems without asking. Don't worry about reimbursing me for the car or anything. You always watch my vids and comment and I appreciate that. Anyway, just let me know what you think. Well, gee, hmm, let me take some time and think about that. Um, obviously, I agreed to it because, like I say, I'm just so speechless and flattered, I don't know what to say or where to, to begin. Uh, but anyway, a couple of days ago, I received uh, another message that says, Hey, I got the car done. I just need your address now so I can mail it to you. Uh, <clears throat> He's got a bunch of video clips and pictures. He just needs to go through it all and make the video to upload to YouTube. Uh, he's not going to post the video until I get the car. says it's your box car, so I think you should be the first to see it. Talk to you later, Paul. So, let's go ahead and take a look and see what he did for me. Here we are, and here it is. Uh, this is just a fabulous piece of work. Um, and I just think it's absolutely awesome. I'm going to give you the individual's uh, YouTube username, which is Paul Dusart. If you're not subscribed to him, I really think you should be, because it, the guy just does absolutely fabulous work. I'm also going to give you his uh, eBay account, so that if you choose to, you can follow him on eBay and check out the, uh, the items that he sells once he gets done weathering and, and detailing that. Uh, <clears throat> no better place to start than Sidewinder Junction. Uh, this is where uh, rolling stock is introduced to the layout. Uh, this is a main interchange where they can either go uh, east or west on the layout, uh, inside or outside main, uh, for revenue, uh, drop off and pick up. But before we uh, get her hooked up here and take her on its uh, inaugural run around the uh, River Mountain Model Railroad, some of the things I want you to watch for as it... Uh, makes its trek around the layout is obviously the, the detailing. Uh, the rust patches and the weathering schemes. You know, along with uh, some other, other little mementos that he uh, put his trademark on. Uh, you're, you can't see it right now, but once it gets going, this area here of the boxcar uh, is his eBay account name. It uh, took me a little while to figure out what he put on there, but um, once I figured out the last four numbers, I knew exactly what that. He was leaving me a little memento on his car, which I think is kind of cool. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, you can see the graffiti and my screen name on here, along with my name, uh, that he hand-painted on there. Um, I'm also going to put up the, uh, the link to the video that he uploaded as he made the, this car. Let's go ahead and uh, get some locomotives fired up here and uh, we'll get her hooked up and uh, make her way around.
Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and like I say, I'm just um, flattered as hell because I, you know, just can't believe that he chose me to do this, and I'm really thankful for that. Um, once again, if you haven't subscribed to him, I suggest you do, and I also suggest you follow him on eBay because he sells some really cool stuff. As you can see, he's a very skilled uh, modeler, and um, I think it shows. As always, thanks for watching.